All right, today we're going to be dealing with a slightly more advanced concept uh, in that one we're going to be counting and two we're going to be dealing with more complex combinations of voices um, and we're going to be subdividing longer phrases uh, so we'll just get right into it um, let's say we're just going to deal with uh, eight beats that's going to be uh, the length of a phrase that we're going to build um, so we would have one two three four five six seven eight okay from there we could just play those beats and we would just have eight notes that we could play with so one two three four five six seven eight uh, but to make it a little bit more interesting to give us a little bit more to work with we're going to use the uh, the eighth notes or the notes that are halfway in between each of those pulses so we'd have one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight okay from there that basically gives us 16 notes that we can use to build uh, a, a rhythmic phrase. Uh, I'm just going to choose arbitrarily um, 5, a 5, and a 6. Obviously, pulling out the math cap, we have 5 plus 5 equals 10, 10 plus 6 equals 16. First, I'm just going to play this for you. I'm going to keep uh, the pulse with my foot, uh, and then I'm just going to play all of the notes that, the way that I'm going to subdivide it. Um, I'll play all those notes on the bass with one hand. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so uh, what, what I'm doing there is hitting the one, two, three, the one and the three of the first five, the one and the three of the second five, and then the one, three, and six. Um, one, two, three, four, I'm sorry, one, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, three, and the five of that final six. So now what we can do is we can uh, change up the voices. Just, just changing two voices out of there, a couple of voices out of there, you're going to modify the way that that pattern feels. So now we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, Four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. I didn't play consistently each time, but you get the picture. You change one voice out of there, and you get a, a you modify the way that it feels. Um, now, to add a little bit of density to that pattern, uh, we're going to play all of the notes, all of the sixteenth notes available to us. So it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Notice I'm going one. So you've got all of those notes in between there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if we subdivide, we'll go um, doing that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Five, the phrase there but you get the idea now with the playing all those 16th notes just going back and forth in what I call the flow um, we actually have the opportunity to really expand out uh, within that within that counting structure um, and add more voices and more complexity to the rhythm so we can do something like this So that's one of the ways that I approach uh, constructing more uh, complex rhythms. Um, there's a video where I kind of play that basic pattern uh, and improvise off that uh, if you want to sit and practice with it. 